Hello guys, good evening. This is Mike Padawan. We're back again with our latest weather analysis and we are now uh, returning to our usual uh, every other day updates since we don't have any uh, tropical cyclones but whenever there's one we are going to issue a daily updates here at YouTube and also at our uh, Facebook channel Mike Mr. Typhoon Padua and right now we uh, only have a uh, low pressure area and we are going to discuss that in a short while and this is for today uh, today July 28 to 30th uh, Sunday to Tuesday English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and one of the uh, best institution in the big region in Naga City Naga College Foundation but before we begin we'd like to uh, thank our partners about this power Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. And now let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set that we created just this afternoon. And uh, we have formerly here two LPAs, 95W and 96W. Yesterday it has dissipated and a new circulation has formed here along the northern part of this trough. And this is 97W. It has lower chances of developing in the tropical cyclone, but we are uh, witnessing some mid-level uh, turning, okay, mid-level counterclockwise swirl, and we are going to observe that, but so far in the lower levels of the atmosphere, it doesn't show anything, including the computer models, doesn't show it developing, but we are observing this in the coming days, and the trough, is bringing uh, heavy thunderstorms okay across uh, parts of uh, Bigel region and uh, Quezon province okay Quezon provinces Bigel and Quezon provinces okay and uh, just this afternoon around 1 p.m. up to uh, 4 p.m. we experienced some heavy rainfall in various sections of the Bigel region including here in Naga City. I'm going to show to you in a while how um, how heavy the rain is and the amounts of rainfall it has poured in our city. And uh, right now, it's still raining outside around 3 millimeters per hour, uh, light uh, rainfall. And uh, there are lots of frogs outside. As you can see, if you have heavy rainfall, these frogs goes out and uh, having some party of their, on their own. Okay, in various sections of uh, the country, Luzon, we also have uh, severe thunderstorms. Central, southern, uh, central and northern Luzon, Metro Manila included in some parts. Okay, also Visayas and Mindanao. We still have the effects of the southwest monsoon, but starting to weaken slowly as days goes by, and still affecting the western coastal areas of central and northern Luzon. But here over Batanes, it's uh, quite an improvement during the past few days. Okay. Uh, compared to uh, the past few days and we have here still the, the uh, remaining cloudiness of uh, tropical depression Gaimi to the local name Karina it's now over Wuhan uh, China okay and uh, that's only the remaining cl cloudiness and it is currently uh, being uh, sucked up by this uh, stationary front and for the next few days as it moves towards the west this circulation will eventually dissipate and die. Okay, so watch out for possible uh, lightning strikes and uh, heavy uh, flooding whenever there's a severe thunderstorm occurring in your areas. Like, just like here in Kamakini Sur, we have experienced uh, um, rainfall the whole afternoon, reaching a high of 100 millimeters, more or less. And uh, 
Outside of bar, we are also uh, looking at two LPAs. This is 98 and 99W, but so far computer models are not developing this. It will dissipate in the coming days. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. So this is now the uh, mid-level uh, swirl of uh, LPA 97W. But look at this. It's fast moving towards the northwest. And slightly tomorrow morning, it is uh, to the east of Taiwan. And it's currently now in the vicinity of 20 degrees north, east of Batanes, accelerating. So improving weather. Uh, will be expected by the morning and the afternoon we are, are, are going to experience another set of thunderstorms in various sections of the country here's lpa 97 i uh, here's lpa 99w that we are uh, worth watching while 98w is currently uh, dissipating as we speak here's the uh, uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com so as you can see, based on the satellite, beginning around 3 p.m., we start the heavy thunderstorms, which started around uh, 1 p.m. here in uh, Naga and various sections of Biko region. Right now, there's another uh, easterly moving, uh, uh, westward moving uh, cloudiness from the east and expected to bring some light rains. But so far, it's not uh, no longer strong. But there's still strong thunderstorms here, broken blonde. Parts of uh, Western Luzon, continuing feed from the uh, southwest monsoon. And uh, here's the uh, thunderstorm, localized thunderstorms over Cebu, uh, parts of Panay and Negros, as well as uh, Carga, Davo region. It's a nationwide thing, okay, this kind of thunderstorms. Whenever there's uh, the uh, southwest monsoon moving into a break, we expect this kind of rainfall as we move into a uh, weak La Nina, La Nina scenario expected to uh, reach its peak come November to uh, February 2025 we're still waiting for the latest one but so far the La Nina forecast is fluctuating early July it's around 80% by June and the last week of July or the last week but during this time last week of July uh, forecast it's currently at 50 percent okay so uh, we still don't know if this will push through but so far based on the average forecast of la nina it looks like it could be a weak one a weaker one so we should be prepared for this uh, powerful typhoons when it comes to the latter part of 2024 particularly september october and november and december as well and uh, let's hope and pray that most of them will not affect our country, particularly Visayas, Bicol, Mindanao, or Luzon. Okay, so here's the LPA. It's not quite uh, organized, although we, we could see some mid-level turn uh, turning. Okay, here's the uh, rainfall that we uh, encountered here in Naga City. This is from Barangay Concepcion, Pequeña. We reach a high of 98.3 it's quite heavy but these are on an isolated events but still it rained for about uh, six hours and uh, here in our uh, uh, I'm gonna show it to you in a while in Liboton the rainfall Barangay Liboton Naga is around uh, 90.9 and here at our uh, station headquarters typhoon 2000 it's only around 48.5 so there's a quite difference it almost times two over at the uh, conception pequeña which is uh, approximately three kilometers from our location so you can see the difference of these severe thunderstorms de depending on where it will pass okay so that area experienced a uh, heavy rainfall along uh, Concepcion uh, Pequeña while in Grande uh, I'm gonna show it to you uh, Concepcion Grande let me see I'm looking for that station okay Ramayra Village Concepcion Grande the rainfall is around uh, 
91.7 it's also heavy okay more more uh, rain compared to ours okay so that's only an average of three to four kilometers away uh, barangay liboton is two kilometers away but you can see it's almost double from our rainfall okay so it depends on the location of uh, this weather station since it's an isolated uh, event so as you can see most of the heaviest part of the thunderstorm is along these areas these barangays okay and uh just uh, visit uh, the weatherlink.com register and you can see the different uh davis weather stations around Bicol that we uh set set up okay around uh 10 but there are some stations that are offline at this moment now let's take a look at the uh wind forecast from the european model as well as the pressure from windy.com so uh, tomorrow morning we expect uh, the uh lpa 97w to dissipate it's no longer there okay the cloudiness might be over taiwan it's moving so fast towards the northwest and so far the southwest monsoon will start to weaken on wednesday it will again uh, retreat more to the west and uh, uh, come to uh, uh, light winds from the southwest will continue to prevail at uh, or across the philippine islands but afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms will continue and if you uh, check it out here at our latest uh, rainfall accumulation or rainfall forecast daily forecast until wednesday so tomorrow morning 8 a.m we expect a uh, uh, possibility of some sunshine to cloudy skies and then tomorrow afternoon we could see another set of thunderstorms across the zone Visayas and Mindanao, but these are isolated to scattered. Okay, and then uh, on Tuesday 8 a.m., good skies, okay, good weather will again persist, except for Bicol region. There might be some thunderstorms passing by in the morning as early as 8 a.m., and then in the afternoon, we uh, again expect this kind of thunderstorm activity throughout the country in isolated and scattered fashion and on wednesday 8 a.m 8 a. good weather again some showers over masbate but in the afternoon or evening we expect another round of thunderstorm activity across various sections of the country okay and here's the wave forecast for the next three days so right now we have wave heights of up to two meters here over the west philippine sea because of the southwest monsoon over the inland waters of the philippine islands it's gonna be calm to about half a meter in wave height very good okay for shipping and sea travel as well as here over the east philippine sea only up to about a meter in wave height so that's very light waves okay now you can see this violet color this is the trail of uh, the uh, tropical uh, low uh, tropical disturbance 97w uh, the wave height here is uh, around 2.5 meters and on uh, tuesday uh, same situation but uh, increasing to 1.5 meters here over the east philippine sea up to half meter over the inland waters while of the west philippine sea it's uh, around uh, two meters okay or less and on wednesday afternoon the uh, southwest monsoon starting to weaken once again wave heights is just below two meters here over the inland waters come to about a half a meter and up to one meter or below across the east philippine sea very suitable for fishing and sea travel before we leave you i forgot to check with you this uh, rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days so the bulk of these thunderstorms every afternoon or evening until wednesday are along luzon including metro manila Bicol region eastern visayas 
low chances here over Central and Western Visayas. Mindanao isolated to scattered ones, so the bulk of this rainfall are concentrated along Luzon. So please take all necessary precautions against possible flash floods and landslides when we have these uh, severe thunderstorms. Okay, so that will be the forecast for the next three days until Wednesday. So there you go, that's the latest for this Sunday evening. And we will return this Tuesday to give you more updates on the weather from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Parawa saying uh, uh, stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mr. Typhoon. There's a uh, subscription button down here. Or if you're watching via Facebook channel, just follow our page, Mike, Mr. Typhoon Padua, for the very latest on upcoming typhoons and uh, weather conditions across our country. Thank you so much for watching and God bless to all.